Hi everybody, welcome to my abode. Um, my name is John Redmond. And I've been teaching accordion, I teach accordion in concertina and uh, I've noticed a lot of students uh, either for that I've taken on from somebody else or their beginner students or whatever it is have a real difficulty in normally you know kids are taught an easy tune first and then gradually gets more difficult but what I've noticed the big problem I've noticed is that the fingering that's taught for the easy tune you know might give you know a beginner kind of a, a sense of satisfaction that the easy tune has been you know conquered and um, but when the, as the tune gets tunes get a little bit more difficult the fingering that is being taught for the easy tunes does not transfer to the more difficult tunes so i think that at, if somebody is picking up an accordion for the first time or if they're a beginner as of now or even even an intermediate player that's finding difficulty in playing a little some tunes that are a little bit more difficult because of fingering issues that there's a few there's a few tips that um, I think go a long way and and can be put in place at at a beginner level which will which will stand to somebody all the way through one of those uh, tips is to learn how to use to learn how to move the second the ring finger and the second finger to learn how to move those, I'll just bring this down to the accordion. To learn how to move those fingers free from one button to another, both up and down the keyboard. Um, say I view this as the top of the accordion, and so as the pitch of, of as each note increases in pitch, I'm kind of going down the keyboard, and as it decreases in pitch, I'm coming up the keyboard. So that's the way that I use term it. Uh, but for this second finger, say A. Middle A to be able to just move to get used to moving in all in all sorts of tunes. That second finger from and the kind of rule of thumb that I have is that you don't use any finger for you don't move any finger on the accordion more than two buttons. So if you run out of I see I see players running out of they run out of fingers, so they'll start off and they'll go like this, and they won't adjust fingers, and they'll just go, and they might have to play three notes down here, and they'll just go, and I, it's just a disaster area because it just becomes all over the place. Or at the other end, which it happens more often, say they're on their pinky, and they have to, their pitch is increasing, so they should be. So they they really they need to be here, say for example. But yet, but they're on their pinky, and they just run out of space, and it just becomes a mess. And I think sometimes that's why a lot of players, the first part of the tune, they have an awful lot better than the second part because their fingering is just they just don't have it in practice. Everything comes down to practice. It comes down to muscle memory. It it comes down to not having to think about what the next note is. It comes down to being able to kind of just know your way around the accordion so well that you don't have to really think about it. Uh, but that takes a lot of practice. But you have to practice in the right way. You know, practice makes permanent. It doesn't necessarily make perfect. So if you're practicing something the wrong way, it's just going to take enough longer to deep practice it or unpractice it. So that is a tip. Also, with your third finger, do the same thing. Until you're comfortable, so you could have a tune where you might you might have to go, you know, like like down the, down the keyboard like that. You can go, and now you're not running out of fingers at all. You've only moved each finger one button, and you still have your this finger available, and you have your pinky available. Whereas if somebody did it another way. And now they're they're running out of fingers all over the place. 
A good little tune, especially the first part of it, is uh, the Lilting Banshee. It's a G and A minor. Uh, you can find the notation for it in most places, um, most books. Session.org probably has it. Uh, so the Lilting Banshee, G A minor. So this is just going to be a demonstration of moving the second finger. All right. The second part of the tune, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with it on this video, but the second part of the tune is going to involve, you know, going out to the F sharp and what to do, um, especially on the high F, well, on both, on all F sharps, but how to address that. Do you slide out? Do you cross down? What do you, what do, you do? Do you go one, two, three? You know, do you go? So I'll address that in the next video, but the second part of it kind of has a couple of those notes. But really what you should look for on in this video is the second finger, the movement of the second finger. Like a lot of players would learn this tune like this. And having the pinky available to do grace notes. You know, a lot of the time I see, um, I see kids running out of playing notes that should be cut or they should have grace notes on them with the pink, you know, but the, because their pinky is playing that, that note, there's no there's no finger left to um, to do the grace note with, so they've run out of space. So you see, like a really bad way of playing this is all right. So it's fine. It's right. It's correct, but there's nothing in it. You know. So you need that pinky that. There, you need to be, and how do you get there? second part starting on my second finger finger, move my second finger, and my third finger. I used the, uh, my pinky was used there for, for the grace notes and the cuts and the triplet I will deal with in the next video. So that is the Lilting Banshee. Really good tune to get used to doing that. Good.